Hey, we are back. Uh oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, don't eat spicy food and then record a record a stream. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yes. It's odd that 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 thing has uh that doesn't have a, a scope on it because I think the regular hunting revolvers just come with the scope unless maybe the GRA doesn't. Ah yes, now I remember where we're at. We're gonna go kill some super muties, <clears throat> I think. Yeah. That legion. I don't think they're moving towards me, so I don't think it's legion. Could be though. Uh, that's about three guys. That might actually be Legion coming for me. Well, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Actually, let me just load back in. I'm going to make a save. It's funny, um, I make these saves now just to make sure that we don't irreparably harm anything, and we could just go back here. This game feels like save scumming is... you have to. Alright, look at this governor at me. This is a dangerous place, human. Especially for your kind. You must have heard a radio broadcast. Nope, I have the music off. human would follow her invitation here is beyond me. Unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain. Or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. For years, Black Mountain was a peaceful community. Its leader, Marcus, broadcast an invitation to mutants throughout the wasteland. That's how I found Black Mountain. So did others, most of them second-generation mutants. The community ended up being mostly second-gen. Not very bright, but easy to influence. Fine until the Nightkin came along, led by Tabitha. In a week, she had most of the second-gens thinking she was some kind of prophet, and that she should be broadcasting Holy truth, shit! not Marcus. Marcus saw what was coming and decided to leave before things got out of hand. He smashed the radio and left to found Jacobstown. <laughs> There's a sad story behind that. Marcus smashed it just fine, but while we were gone, some ghoul named Raoul came along. Tabitha turned him into her personal mechanic. A slave, really. See, if I'd been standing down here, I could have warned him before it was too late. Marcus sent me here a couple of months ago to check on Black Mountain. I suppose you could say I came here as a spy. But with no signs of Tabitha's weakening and none of the second gens ready to revolt or to come to Jacobstown, there wasn't much I could do. Down here, on the other hand, I've saved a dozen mutants from heading up the mountain. It's not much, but it's something. I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing. So I've stayed here. The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. There are three mm. blockades plus patrols. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound, heavily guarded by her nightkin. Yes, I hear that sometimes. And then I never hey, what's see up? the people who said it again. Okay, well, I hope I hope it's okay. Look, look at this green Shrek motherfucker. Still hanging about? The Nightkin are vicious in combat, and that's if you see them coming. Most don't. Hey, Gray, what's they up? They were created to be soldiers and given devices to camouflage them in battle. Unfortunately, the devices drove most of them mad over time. They spend most of their time at the top of the mountain, but patrol the roads after dark as well. Goodbye. 
Alrighty, so let's head up the mountain and uh those guys okay, those guys are definitely gonna be Okay, calm down, Grandma. Now I'm debating on whether or not I should kill these super mutants. Oh yeah, why was it so gosh good? Oh, you said bad words. <laughs> you can't hide from grandma. Oh shit. Grandma's pissed, guys. We're heading up here to do some shit. I don't want to kill all these super mutants just in case. I mean, technically, I don't mind fighting them. But I kind of want to, uh. I kind of want to see if I could save them, maybe get a bunch of cool stuff for not killing all of them. Alright, they have miniguns. That's not good. And they have radiation too. Well, shit. Really, what's wrong with taking it for granted? I mean, if you didn't want to play the game, it's fine. I'm getting a lot of radiation damage. He's looking right at me. Fuck. I mean, that's, that's good. Most games, you know, the, the first level's like their best level. Where the hell is Eddie? Are Eddie and Tabitha killing people? No, Eddie's right there just floating around. Oh no, they found Grandma! They found Grandma! How'd they find Grandma? Dude, they found- they found Grandma and then they killed Grandma! Yeah, I bet the story's fucking good. This is a dangerous place, human. You must have heard a radio. Shit, I'm... I'm five points away. Alright, well, you know what? Let's do a reload. We can make that skill check. We can 100% make that skill check. We'll do it later, though. Yeah. How's the story good? I never really... I'm watching Richter play Birth by Sleep. And all I hear is, like... All I hear is them just... Farting around. That's all I hear. Oh. <laughs> Wow, he um he barked up the wrong tree, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that that scorpion is chock full of blood sausage. There's grandma following us like the predator. So I see why no one saw me. And Lily's kind of weak. I wonder if there's something we could do to make her stronger. I like Kingdom Hearts, but, uh... 
I I'm watching birth by sleep, it's fucked. It really is. The story's fucked. It makes no sense. At least it explains why Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 story make no sense. People are like you gotta you gotta watch you gotta you gotta do birth by sleep, man. You'll figure out how Kingdom Hearts 2 started. It's like yes, but how did birth by sleep started? Shut up! Alright, I just shot Godzilla. And I aimed at the wall. Alright. Get a few free kills. Bro, this gun is so fucking fun. The anti-material rifle. With explosive bullets, of course. Uh, what game did you like a lot in uh, Kingdom? Oh, like, excuse me. What world did you like a lot in, in Kingdom Hearts Three? Because quite frankly, um, you know, uh, I don't know all the worlds. I know the Toy Story world. They had the Big Hero Six. Uh, what else did they have? Monsters Incorporated. That was a new one that people were. People were excited about. at you know I'm, I'm thinking maybe oh shit that lag though hmm. all right uh, let's just go turn in this shit at uh, the thorn Yeah, you could you could you could say whatever fake name that is. I I I I I don't. Yeah, you're just making names up. Hey, you. Welcome back, stranger. Do you have good news? You've, indeed, become the greatest hunter the Thorn has ever seen. The best I've ever seen. You've earned the honor of being part of this sacred ground. Come to me often, and I'll share with you the wealth of the Thorn. You've done enough to last many lifetimes, stranger. But I'd like you to come see me again. Thank you, my brave hunter. Shut up, Gray. I'm not. I'm not sleeping with her. Okay. Bear Grylls only sleeps for for survival. Oh, that's what she gave me. And Lily's going crazy. Lily, stop! <laughs> Bro, this shotgun looks pretty fucking cool. Let's compare. All right, uh, ten times seven, and this is gonna be um. Nine point four. Oh, okay, so it's about a interesting. How fast is this fire, though? Lily, get out of the way. This might be pretty good. What is the what is neat though? Seventy five. Can't help thinking we've not seen. Yeah. How many worlds though? The last of the fiends yet. How much is it weigh? My guy's very heavy. We need to drop off some weight. Yeah. Yeah, it weighs more than the right shotgun. 
That's odd. That's odd that the fully automatic gun weighs less. You think just by the ammunition alone, which has weight in this game, would weigh it down more. It, and it's the same ammunition too. Um, gun looks cool though. Um, actually, now I think about it, let's do some fighting. We'll clear out the rest of the shit here. That's the world's. Yeah, the worlds I liked were. Um, uh, I don't know which ones. Um, but uh, was Tim Burton's thing not in there this time? Welcome back, stranger. Like, um, Nightmare Before Christmas? What? And I... What's... Prepare you... How many... I'm gonna fight three. The crowd loves your bravery. Get to your cage and ready your arm. Get to your cage. What I don't like is, uh, I... I that that kind of sucks because it seems like, uh... They just have Pirates of the Caribbean every fucking game now. Not gonna lie, it's cool. Oh, they, didn't they have Frozen too? Bro, this gun fucking rocks. Why is it the worst one? Oh, you just don't like the ice level where you got blown away. Gosh, Sora. Donald sure took that snow to the face like an idiot. Alright, there's Lily and Eddie. Perfect. Alright, that was a very easy fight. Uh. Well done, stranger. All right. Welcome back, stranger. Huh? What? What's it? I kind of wish I didn't have to go. Name. My deadly Cazador. How? The crowd loves your bravery. Get to your cage and ready your arm. This really doesn't feel like much of a fight. How did I gain health? Oh, yeah, that's right. I have the... I have the, the thing, the stim, that heals me over time. Well, what's good with, what's bad with singing? You're fucking playing Disney games. So I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> oh, my auto gym. That was a very expensive fight. Oh, still losing health too, apparently. Well. Yeah. Let it go, let it go. And Gray's like, man, this game, oh. Anyway. 
I need my fix. Well done, stranger. Welcome back, stranger. These beasts are slaves to their instincts. Welcome back, stranger. What? Now you're talking. I'll be impressed if you make it out alive, stranger. Having seen what you're capable of, I think you'd fight a horde of them and not bat an eye. But the Thorn honors Ballas. Not foolish sacrifice. I can see your resolve. Determined, like the nature of a beast. So be it. Get to your cage and ready your arm. Yeah, I bet, I bet, I bet Sora is. Alright, so these guys are gonna be fuck. So I'm gonna say fuck it. Actually, we'll try and do it. Actually, there's three of them. I'll, I'll try it. If I lose, then I'll. Sw oh, I, I can't. The game's not letting me in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they know I'm here. All right, there we go. That's odd. Why would Sora be your favorite? What did Sora do? That's so cool. Every every character in the game tells Sora, You can't be a team red monster, Sora. Why not? Well done, str Welcome back, stranger. You've done enough. To Let's go somewhere more private. Your bravery surpasses that of any other. And I've come to admire your actions. Before death takes us, I would know you deeper. Come with me, my hunter. This sounds like the the thing to Bloodborne or the thing to. To wh why the fuck? Where's she taking me? The real boss fight begins. We need to buy a bunch of shit, aren't we? Yeah. Even the strongest creatures need their rest. And their companionship. I've been looking forward to this. What? Looking forward to what? I just wanted to no. Oh no, 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 no. I never asked for this. Maybe I did. Lucy. Don't look at me, Lucy. I got, uh, don't look at me while I hack your computer. Cards.
I don't like the fact that she took off her fucking shirt. Killer. It's really not a single one of these. Huh, interesting. Really, you only get four chances, huh? Dude, I was I was given nothing. This terminal gave me nothing. You see that that that, that the fucking terminal gave me nothing. There's no way to fucking do that. Fargo. Nothing. Ways. Nothing. Packs. Nothing. Could be the second word could be an A, but that's that means nothing. I guess I mean Why does Sora want to become a Keyblade Master? And more importantly, why is a Keyblade Master something to aspire to be? Holy shit, how many duds are you gonna fucking remove? Oh, this is ridiculous. When, yeah, but why? What does that do? What does that do for him? You know? There's something. Answers on what does that mean? Magic. What did I? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Last best hope for humanity. Bear Grylls sleeping with a Lucy. Uh oh. Good thing I don't hear anything. Why does Midoriya want to be the greatest hero in the world? Because literally he was a kid following in it in 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 all my footsteps. Literally, he went. He didn't. He he don't really care about being the best hero in the world. He wants to impress All Might. Big difference. Trying to be, trying to be all smart, saying that ah, I drank the, I drank the rustic water. Why the fuck? Sora doesn't even know who Yen Sid is. Who is Yen Sid to fucking Sora? Like, in all fairness though, what has Yen Sid done that would impress Sora? Real talk though.
Yeah, but does Sora know that? <laughs> There's no way he trained Sora. When the fuck did that happen? No, 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 no. If, if you're gonna say, if you're gonna say, you fucking Yid Sid, no, the only person he would want to impress would probably be either Riku, Riku, or fucking, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't, even, I don't even know if he would care about Kyrie, to be honest, to impress. I don't think he's. Maybe he wants. Maybe he wants to impress Winnie the Pooh. Maybe that's why he wants to be a Keyblade Master. Winnie the Pooh, man. It all comes back to Pooh, because this game series is. Yeah, that was my favorite part of Kingdom <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. He's like, I wanna <laughs> I wanna impress you, Riku. And, and Riku just turns to him and says, You'll you'll not be a keyblade you'll never be a keyblade master. <laughs> Wait, why is Riku allowed to gatekeep Sora? <laughs> what did Sora do wrong? with the big urn on my hip. Yeah. yeah, as I said before, it's it's not I don't understand. It's it's Kingdom Hearts games I, I was I was watching it, like the Birth by Sleep. None of none of it makes sense to me, and I I don't mean that like I don't understand what's going on. Literally means I have I have absolutely no character motivation. I don't know why people are doing that. I don't know what they mean by the darkness. You know, Terra's like oh oh fucking Terra. He got a little bit of angry in him. Got a little bit of angry in him, huh? Can't become a Keyblade Master. Meanwhile, you fight the fight him fight that guy as a boss. A little bit later, and and wh what happens? Man gets angry. turn to darkness you know and then it's like at the end by the end by the end of the game you know he ends up getting his body taken over and it's like oh okay well d d what does that mean does that mean like every time you do something you're gonna get your body taken over Rick can swirl a little bit oh there goes your body dude look at that look at that bullet box silver star Dude, I'm gonna fucking over encumber myself like you wouldn't fucking believe. Lily, you look like a freak. Dude, look how awesome this armor. Look at that armor. And then they have this one. Dude, look how cool this armor looks. Seriously. Not only is it very confusing, it's... It feels like they don't have, like, a main goal. And they're kind of, like, scrambling together to try and, like, get, like, a... Get, like, a, a good meaning 
Grandma's got a present for you. Oh god, grandma no. She can't hold it. I didn't tell her to wear it, I told her to hold it. Grandma's got a present for you. Don't don't ever say that again, grandma. In all fairness, though, um, I think the problem is, is that they kept trying to get it uh, to make it more complicated than it needed to be. What I mean specifically is they kept adding in more and more characters while not adding in more and more story. It's just like, it's like, it feels like, it feels like the story is, is less about a destination and more about trying to explain what Kingdom Hearts actually is, you know? Um, and specifically in uh, in in uh, in the newest one, because that's freshest of memory, Birth by Sleep for me. Um, it really felt like it was just like okay, yeah. Like there's no like Sora's like. It's like Sora Sora wants to become a Keyblade Master, right? That's that's what he's doing. Well, what is well? How is he supposed to do that? Where where is he supposed to go? What's he supposed to do? You know. You know, and if it doesn't say anything, you know, how are you supposed to do it? You know, how's he supposed to do it? So then that leads to what, 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 what's the plot actually? Well, the plot to Kingdom Hearts 1. Alright, here's the plot to Kingdom Hearts 1. My friends are missing. I want to find Riku and Kairi. Very simple. Kingdom Hearts 2. Where's King Mickey? You know? <laughs> Uh, you know, very simple, and that's what the whole driving story was. But now it's like the darkness and Xehanort, and it's like, you're, oh, okay, we gotta find Xehanort? Why? He's doing bad. Okay, but why? Yeah, well, there you go, that's the problem. He's still searching. And if and if by the third game you haven't found your guy, guess what? You're either gonna die searching for him, like that one guy in uh, Gears of War. I forget his name. Dom. It was Dom. You know they were looking for his wife, and then she was dead. And then in the second game, he was just talking to his dead wife. And then by the end of the third game, he was like, he's just gone. He's just out of it. He just couldn't do it. No, they're, they're, he's probably still listening. All right, they're gonna release Kingdom Hearts Four. He's gonna be searching again. I've been having these strange dreams lately, like I'm just running around in circles, dude. Dude, at this point, he's not even being an adventurer. He's just doing going to a day job, looking doing the same old fucking shit. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So it's like if he's gonna keep doing that, there's, there's like, uh, 
Like, like how long? How, how long are we supposed to like, like, be invested in in this in this in this man's? You know. That's. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying like it's. It's like they've already done this before, like, multiple times. And instead of, like, trying to get, like, a new plot going, they, they try and explain every little facet of the world. Including how, including the color, the, the color dyes they don't use to dye his hair. You know, and, well, or I don't even fucking know the character's name. There's, like, eight fucking characters of the same guy, but he has a different name for each form that he's in. I ima imagine like it's like Dragon Ball Z. It's like it's like oh here's Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God Goku. Here's Xehanort Riku, Xehanort Terra Riku. It's like by by. Yeah, Quantrum. Welcome back. Can I? Sure thing. Have a look. You know, and uh, that's the thing. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna do that, fine. You know, just do it. But you, 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 it feels like you're you're stringing stringing the audience along now. You know, and it's a bit sad because th this is the type of game. Like, I'll I'll say this right. I'll I'll, I'll say it. Here's my hot take. You go to too many lands. You go to too many lands in these games. All right. You want to tell a good story? You go to maybe three separate worlds each game. Those are the three worlds, and you spend like an hour or two like exploring each like or maybe even longer you know what i mean like the game is divided into three parts yeah but the thing is is like you, you go to one land you go to the other land you go to the other land you never really you know you never really get a chance to have it sink in you know they're more like stages than anything else and since they're trying to make a game like an rpg it, it tends to it tends to fly by too quickly i mean that's not necessarily bad, but it's definitely like, like imagine if you like, oh, you can't wait for the Jack Sparrow land, right? You can't wait for the Pirates of the Gambit. Done. Done. Well, is it, can we at least fight? No. Done. All right. You talk to Jack. It's over. Go, go, go find Rico. But I don't want to find Rico. I, 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 I spent the last eight games finding Rico. Now I want to talk to, I want to talk to Sully. Let me talk to Sully, please. No. Sully's busy. <laughs> Sully's busy. Go back to him. <laughs> Sully has a day job, kid. <laughs> Alright, what am, what am I fucking selling? Deathclaw hands and garbage? Yeah, whatever. Here, eat my garbage. Damn, Lily. Bro, I am fucking... That's how I feel about this game. Love and hate. <laughs> Just, whoa, you know? Bro, that looks so dangerous, that uppercut. Bro, <laughs> that fucking uppercut, <laughs> Like, you want to see how powerful this uppercut is? Watch this. The fucking strongest uppercut in the fucking world. <laughs> Man, Mangle's flying <laughs> backwards. Even Rocky Balboa didn't hit a man that hard. Just. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. And look at this big fucking gun. <laughs>
Yeah, the fucking thing is amazing, but... Like, this game... I'm spending hours, like, in the same town and still finding new shit. What? Power of waking? I don't know what the fuck that means. To me, it sounds like they're. Yeah. Y yeah, see, that's kind of funny because I don't recall any of the other key blade masters ever doing that. Yeah, I said before, like, I, I, I feel like these games are, are not really designed to, while well, actually going into an arctic area, I'm, I was shocked. This is definitely it. Yeah. Let's go kill some Night Stalkers. Yeah. That fucking sound effect. Oh, holy shit, that was so loud. Alright. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, it, as I said before, it feels like they're just trying to explain stuff that doesn't need to be explained rather than saying, oh, you have the mark of mastery, you know? It's like, oh, I'm sorry, you don't have, you don't have the power of waking. What the fuck's the power of waking? The power to restore lost hearts. Meanwhile, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, pre-sequel, whatever. No, nothing, motherfucker doing nothing but that. You know, it's like, okay, well, now you're just wasting our time. Believe it or not, that type of shit was what really pissed me off in Other M. It felt like it was just wasting my time for no reason. You know, oh, Samus has to go through this area without the various suit. Why? Because Adam or whatever the fuck his name said so. Well, why'd he say it? Because apparently he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm sorry, Samus. Uh, in fact, if you're going to run through that lava, do it shirtless. Mm -hmm. And then Adam's like, what the fuck? Oh, there's a guy right there, I think. Am I a guy? Okay. Yeah, it feels like they're just, they don't care about Sora, to be honest. Uh, they're not hating on him. What they're doing is that they don't want him to grow up. It's the same thing with Spider-Man, you know?
Why the fuck is there so much bullshit in this fucking area? What the fuck? Alright, now can someone please explain to me how is their fucking... Fucking, fucking bear traps in this. Who put one? Who, who got past all these night stalkers to put the bear trap up? Oh yeah, man. Really, you're in the way. This game has really bad aim. Dude, I dude, I just fucking missed two 93% shots. Uh, how's Lily's doing? Lily's doing fine. Me though, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know why they're hating on him. It makes absolutely no sense. Hey, I found a Frankenstein. Chewed stealth boy? Oh, baby! <laughs> What the fuck are you? Oh my god. Probably. Every other main character like died. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Damage 82. Oh, we're gonna have to take a fucking look at how much damage this does. Lily. Nothing. Yeah. He probably was, wasn't he? I didn't even see those guys. Oh, there he goes! Got to level up. There we go. Oh, we didn't get our perk, huh? Shit. Probably gonna be a next round perk. This weapon, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. They kinda always wanna do that, huh? In all fairness, having Sora as a shade could be kind of cool. Alright, well, I'm assuming Oh Baby is like the big one we're finding in here.
Yeah, we're gonna get a nice little level up coming up. N and now we can do uh, the the Black Mountain thing. I wonder if I should give Lily the O, o baby. Lily? Okay, 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 stop Lily. You're scaring me. Grandma's got a present for you. Oh yeah, she fucking okay, yeah, Lily's gonna freaking wreck shop with that. Uh, I'm gonna see if I could use it later on for something. I might use it later as well, but it's it's twenty pounds too heavy for me. I mean, we can't use Lily. Let Lily use it. In all fairness, just about every game they pretend he dies. You know? In all fairness, by by the time that this this game this game is, I wouldn't be surprised if Sora was actually dead before the game even started, and he's more of like he's less of like a character and more of like just an avatar for the Keyblade's consciousness. And the Keyblade apparently just doesn't give a shit. Alright, you idiot. Are you... Okay, sh shut up. Hey. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Promising. But I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. Here, I found this stealth boy. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutation so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition. I'll be waiting. Lily. Lily. Hello again, dear. You look like Freddy Krueger, Lily. You're a blue-ass Freddy Krueger with a hammer. That's all you are. You want to help the doctor do something? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as... Very well. Please, stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Okay. Let's watch Lily get get, get got. Lily's gonna kill the doctor. She, she, she's gonna kill with a hammer. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Still feel just unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. 
Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Oh. That... Well, well, that congratulations on getting the last car prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. There are caches of stealth boys out there. With a Mark II in hand, it shouldn't be difficult to upgrade every one of them. Our lives, our decision to make. Shit, that's a huge... Good, good. Smart move, human. Someone's watching me. I can feel it. Someone... I think those nightkin are gonna cause a lot of trouble. But I guess giving them the specs was better than killing them. I did get a lot of useful data from the experiment, and I'm much closer to a cure than I was before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype, I can actually get to that, I think. I understand. Right, well, whatever. I was thinking about killing him. It doesn't seem like uh, what we're doing. We're trying to help these people. They're, it's it's like a drug addict, you know? Do you just do you just take out the drug addict and take him out? No, you don't. You, you know, you let them steal their shit, and then when they start to come down, that's when you try and help them. Medical supplies, speech. Where the hell's science? Ugh, God, this pain in the ass findings. Medicine. I think it was science, actually. Have you come to a decision on... I use the neuropeptide simulators on the night stock experiment. Results from the library. That's brilliant. Yes, I'm Simple brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I read a book. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Yeah, very easy. Well, we're gonna have. We're, we're, I'll say this. All right, I made my bed. I'm gonna lie in it. We're gonna let the, the night stalkers run away. Is there something else I can do for? Promising, but I won't. All right. Let's go talk to Lily. Alrighty, we got Lily following us again because she's a creepo. We're gonna need to talk to Marcus though, Gray. He's um, he's not gonna like that Keen and the other guys ran off, but we might get a new mission from him. It was hard enough to convince Keen to come up here in the first place, and you gave him an excuse to leave. Better than killing him, I guess. Always a chance I could get him to come back. Not counting on it. Hope the town doesn't take the blame for whatever trouble he gets into. See you. Listen, alright? I could have killed Keen. And when he does something bad and hurts people, I will. <laughs> but until he does, we'll let him have have his fun.
We'll probably get a letter later on saying he killed some people. That's what I'm assuming. And yes, I could have stopped him, but see, that that's the thing. You don't, you don't like take people out for doing shit like that, you know. Man, literally just came in saying, "I want this," and what are we gonna do? Kill his ass? <laughs> in real life, you know. Yeah, so you know this bank robber, he just came in saying, Give me the money, no one gets hurt. So I just, I, I killed him. Alright, um, alright, let's, let's, let's go do this bullshit. We can go back to Black Mountain then. Oh, I'm hungry. My my man's hungry. He's hungry man's. Oh, I'm so hungry. Wait, what do I have to eat? Ramen steak, big horner steak. Anything that's kind of not that good for healing. That didn't make me. Well, let's go get some FOD. How about that, right? Yeah, I do like Kingdom Hearts, though. Hey there, what's... Pleasure doing business with you. I actually need those. Another satisfied. Alright. Hey there. What's Alright, whatever. Yeah, I, I I did like Kingdom Hearts 2 a lot, and I, I I do miss playing it, but I don't think I'm gonna go back to it. Not anytime soon. Uh Maybe I'm gonna beat Chain of Memories. I don't know. I. That's also another one of those things where it's like you know I I played it. I didn't like it, and I don't think I'm gonna go back to it because it, it was fine. The the normal finds are fine, but then I I fought a fucking boss, and I remember that either my deck was terrible and I have to level it up, which that's not fun. Um, or I have to do something to make it you know work for me. We're gonna let Lily have fun with that hammer. Yeah, I think I think I never played three, but three three looks like it's like a combination of all the games at once. You know what I mean? Let's go talk to Neil now that we're all partied up. He's gonna like us. We're very, we're very tidy. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. What makes it dangerous, Super Mutant? You must have heard a radio broadcast. Nope. The, the voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha. Don't care. She took control of this place almost. Yeah, so it sounds like you have enough, Tabitha. What about you? I could use some help. Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's going to be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. There he goes, our hero, folks. 
That better not be a fucking. That better not be a freaking death claw over here. Alright, let's go kill some bad boys. How about that? 100% 3 is probably better. Alright, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna say fuck it. I thought maybe he would have said something. I'll, any super mutant that, that, that's angry at me, I'll sh he's just running through them all. They're not even stopping him. They think he's, oh my god, they're racist. That's all they are. There's two of them right over here. Gecko steak, I'll take that. My man's hungry. Yep. It is ge Oh shit, the girl's meeting people. Yay. It's gonna kill his ass. You know, I want to get on that a little bit. Oh, you punch an Lily? I'll punch you. He had a broken ass super sledge, the idiot. Bro, that man was hidden. Alright, so the Ranger Sequoia is actually not very good with damage. It's, it's It fires too slow. We might actually drop it, or if there's... There's probably a way to fan the hammer in this series. That's a lot of enemies. Oh, the NCR guy. Oh, did I hear a gun? That's probably a safe way up. There's a guy right there, isn't there? See, I can't tell if it's a stealth boy because, quite frankly, I'm getting like anti deathclaw, anti aliasing on shit, and it's making it look like it's a shimmering body. Stay where grandma can see you, huh? Oh my god, she actually says that. <clears throat> I thought there'd be a little more enemies. Let's get away from that radiation. <clears throat> and all fairness, though, Kingdom Hearts really kind of um, missed a trick, though. Where they could have had uh, interactions between different Disney characters, you know? Instead, it's just like Sora meets these people. So, you know what I mean? Like, one of the funniest fucking scenes ever was 
in Kingdom Hearts 2 when Donald got really pissed off when Sora got punched in the face in the Mulan uh, world. There, there was more character in that moment than there was in like just about the entirety of the series, you know? Of, of your friend just got punched, you're gonna kill the guy that punched him. There's nothing there. All right, Lily, Lily, that stealth boy though. I th I feel like they're leading me into a trap. Yeah, we might get we might get in a big ass trap, to be honest. Man had a frag grenade in the hammer. What the fuck was he doing? Gonna blow himself up? Yeah. Should be a guy up here somewhere. What the hell does he have? Is he a uh, here? Okay. Alright. Alright, so that man has a flamethrower, the other one, which he's not gonna be too dangerous. That guy has a minigun, which might be dangerous. But that's okay. Alright, there's three of them now. Alright, well, he's probably gonna jump down here, so. he'll pick that up. Eddie. Well, yeah, we're getting fucked. You okay, Eddie? That was kind of dangerous. This guy's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we're gonna give him a freaking pushy gun. Me, please. Dude, we totally just saved Eddie's life. Eddie had no fucking health left. Grab 
Uh, she dropped O baby somewhere. Oh fuck. Well, she was fighting up here, right? So maybe oh baby's around here somewhere. Ah, fuck off with this. Alright. Well, did she just pick it up? No, she didn't. Okay. Alright, I'll say this. Uh, I'm gonna. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to fucking reload. That fucking sucks. That really fucking sucks. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Uh, don't let Lily hold anything, because she'll just drop it. Oh, that sucks. Alright. We're just gonna go in guns blazing next time. We're not gonna sneak. So we're gonna drop off our, uh, Nail board, uh, oh baby, oh baby. There's that one scene in, in Rocco's Modern Life that's just amazing about that. So we're going to head to the jury. We're going to buy some good shit. All right, let's see what they have. Welcome, sir. Or no, we're going to buy that. Yeah. But my favorite shit was always the... um. I, I, in all fairness, like, between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, 2 felt like an amazing upgrade. Like, in every way. There was, like, not much worse in 2. You know what I mean? It improved upon everything. And I don't know if 3 does that, but if it, if it could even come close, that's pretty good. Because 2 was, uh, two was good. I'll probably never get 3, though. Do these guys have armor or not? I don't think they do. That's probably not going to be worth it, though. Yeah, no, no, he he never had it. <laughs> all they all hating. All y'all bitches hating.
Alright, there we go. Uh, we got a bunch of shit. Core Junction, I think, is a little bit closer, but we'll see. Hopefully we won't get attacked while we're there. Okay, so, oh god, we might be getting attacked. Alright. Alright, we're alright. Much more explosive rounds, that's what we want. Alright, so we kind of want the slug for this one, so it decreases the ammo spread. Alright. Alright, this looks like a face you could trust, right? Yeah. Right, he's gonna come running out in a second, so let's do meeting people. Alright, let's go meet this man. This is a dangerous place, you- Well, you seem friendly for a super mutant. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Why? Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans. No, th no, I don't mean to offend, but no, you're not. And none taken, since you apologize. You must have heard a radio broadcast. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. Uh, you don't like Tabitha. Let's, let's fight her. Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. Alright, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me... Alright, let's go meet this bitch. Alright, we're gonna take a snap though right here. There's a sleepy bed. Alright, right, and now once we die, or, or if we win, or if, or if one of my characters dies... I just realized this is like I, I I'm actually playing on even a harder mode because the fucking have like fucking three fucking health packs, three fucking things everyone has now. What an unfortunate way to land. Alright, sweet. Uh, what was it that we were doing? Um, what were we going to uh, repair? Yeah. That's fine, we'll just keep the super sludge until we repair something else. Like there's just a bunch of super sledges that aren't getting repaired. Seems to be more guys out in the daytime. That's good. More experience, you know what I'm saying? Back up, you guys.
Oh, that's some Resident Evil bullshit. Eddie, get out of the way. Eddie, Tabitha, get out of the way. He's, uh, in all fairness, I have used HP rounds all the fucking time. Mm. That's all I have to say about that. Uh. They don't feel good. Mainly because normal rounds just feel like they just do more. So I don't know why a hollow point. I don't see how a hollow point does more damage. It really doesn't feel like it. And I know that guy who had a shield on, so he wasn't technically taking damage from it, but still. Uh, you don't really know until you've played the game and know it, but from the experience I've used from first impressions, yeah, Hollow Point doesn't feel nearly as good. And what's even funnier is if a if 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 a target pierces ammo, it, like it, like there's ammo ammo piercing like like bullets, right? Or armor piercing bullets. But the thing is, with armor-piercing bullets, they if they don't do enough damage, they don't pierce the bullet anyway, so it's not armor-piercing. And it doesn't do a lot of HP damage, so it's like, you end up having bullets that are non-armor-piercing actually piercing armor for piercing ar you know what I mean? It's like, wh what are they doing? Load, please. Okay, never mind. Did I miss every shot? Right, that, ain't, that is not working. You fire. Ah. Uh, I'm just murking these guys with frickin' fists. Hey, Lily, hold on to this for a second. That's a heavy incinerator. I don't know if I've seen that before. I've seen it in regular incinerator. It's not a heavy one, though. Alright, let's nuke a cola head up. Holy shit. That's a lot of ammo. Bro, look at this guy. Bear Grylls is ready to play now. Let's see what they got. The best part is I don't even have to waste my ammo. Yeah, I'm probably going to drop off the Ranger Sequoia. Um... The, it's 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 okay against weak enemies, but for the power versus how slow it is, it's not very good. You fucked up, sir. Maybe not. 
You're taking a lot of damage, sir. Man it took damn near 200 bullets. That's ass. <laughs> that is some ass. The armor Bobby can make me look like ass. Drink the pool water. Alright, once we get to the top of this area, we're going to be done for the night. I'm getting very tired and, of course, don't want to do everything at once. Harry, I've reached the top. Let's go with these guys. Holy shit, where's he coming? He's coming around the corner. There's a lot of radiation here. Uh, this is where a, uh, a bomb must have fell. Just shit like that, it's like holy shit. Press the wrong one. What to the wrong one, son? Yeah, there's really not much to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Surprised I was able to freaking finagle that. Alright, well, whatever. Another minigun. What the fuck am I stuck on? I tried to go forward and then my character went sideways. Yeah, what the fuck am I fucking stuck on? This area is ass, what the fuck? A 
pleasant surprise to see you made. Here's the plan. The gate to Tabitha's compound is guarded by several Nightkin. I'm going to draw them away from the gate by telling them I spotted an intruder in the village. Then you slip in. Good luck. We're going to need it. Neil, I don't think the plan worked. Neil, the plan didn't work. What did I just shoot? How did I shoot myself? Ah, oh, boy. How far are we going back on this? Oh my god, that is so fucking far. Oh my goodness, because I shot something, I don't know what I hit, it, it, but the bullet killed me. Oh my god, the game just wants me to do this fucking part over and over again, doesn't it? Whatever, we'll do it, okay? I'm assuming Lily must have clipped into me, but I don't know why the fuck she clipped into me. There's the bad boy dead. Alright, Bear Grylls is very strong, by the way. I'll take them all out. I see. The thing is, I think I died because M Lily killed me. Lily might be another one of those followers that feels like maybe we shouldn't have her around. Uh, just because of the clipping. It's funny because Boone's not. Boone was never a big deal with this. Big one. Come on, guys, get out of the way. Oy vey.
holy shit, they do not want you to ever, ever open up your fucking menu in this game. There's all these fucking healing items. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, well. There he goes. Yeah, the DPS is is like a main factor of what the fuck is something gonna do. Cause holy shit. I was not doing damage with that ranger gun. Alright, Lil, you need to carry some stuff for me. Hey, that's some. That is some booty, bro. Bunch of fucking money. I forget what, what I'm thinking about buying, though, with it. There's something specific. And yeah, I, I think you can actually sneak around these guys, but still. Yeah. Alright, let's finish this off. I think maybe we'll end it uh, once we get up there to kneel again. going over here to kill these two guys as well. There he goes. What gun is that? I want it. We're using that gun. All right, another gun. What is that? Oh, that's uh, an assault rifle or short fire mine. Something. LMG, I'll take it. The fucking 12 rounds. Alright, I'm not gonna be using it. I'll use it for 5 fucking bullets. How about that? Okay, there it goes. Lovely. <laughs> They seem to have unlimited ammo. This game does not want me to complete this part because it's killing me with either fucking glitches or some fucking cheese. Because having the game crash, that's some cheese, man. That, that, that's some cheese. This, this game doesn't want me to beat it because it crashes every single fucking time. It, it crashes way too often. I, I can't believe... This cannot be stated enough. This game crashes way too often. And not even... Like... Like... It, 
Like, it, it crashes when you enter a fucking door. It crashes when you just fucking walk around. You'll open up your inventory. It'll crash. That's a lot of different types of things that can cause it to crash. All right, well, we're going to be done for now. Unfortunately, I wanted to get to the top of the mountain. What does the game do? It, I died to an invisible wall. I think I shot Lily. Couldn't tell. She clipped through me, I guess. And then and then the second one, I get up there, and I. the game just shuts off. This game's a bastard. It really is. That's all it feels like. It feels like it, it's, 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 it's just nasty. It feels... You know, it's the type of person that you would hang out with because you think they're cool, but then they're actually really shitty. And they and they like being shitty. You know, I, this is the best way I could do it, you know? They like making you feel bad because this is what this game tries to do. You know, you want to have a little bit of fun, and what does it do? It takes it away it, as much as it can. And the first few crashes, yeah, they can be funny, but... We're, we're, we're so long into this game and it's crashing whenever it goddamn well pleases. I don't like having to save every... Like, I don't like having to kill a super mutant, do a quick save. Kill a super mutant, do another kill save. Kill, kill another super mutant. Oh, the game crashed. We'll reload that quick save and then we'll kill him again. I don't like playing like that. This game really is forcing you to... to it doesn't feel like... It. I'll say this, right? Difficulty, if you're going to quick save after every fucking encounter you're, you're doing... Then you might as well just play on easy because it's literally the same fucking thing. You do it until you get it right. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of like Skyrim pickpocketing, you know? You can't ever get good at it. You just roll the dice until you get what you want. And if you don't get what you want, you do a reload. Until you do.